Uh, because now, if someone gets graved, like, this is the other way you counter two, you can just astral, astral, but I mean, they already have the axe. <laughs> they, like, double grave count. Behind the tree line here, they've positioned themselves perfectly, and when he's gonna walk out, Mighty Savior knows it's something he's missed. He gets poison attack instead of nether toxin, he makes his life hitting a bit harder. They have the torch to come out as well. No, please. No, not like this. Get it? Ooh, Ninja Boogie. Stole. Very good farm. I don't know if they get kills, but they get good farm. No, you can keep the camera up there because nothing's happening down bottom. But the, the other thing is, uh, I think the reason they've done this is just because, uh, oh, like... I think he's dead. I oh, believe yeah. he's dead. This is a hefty dive. And Fate Adam, I don't think right. punished. No, he was close. Burrow Strike, uh-oh. Now Mighty Savior's in trouble. The Shadow Wave comes out. This land's starting into his disaster, Trent. I mean, this is trial that he's owning. Owning. Call not gonna go. Bimbo's able to get out in time. Not only is Mushi owning the rest of this squad. Torrent will come out, Mighty Savior. He does have his uh, gross of skin, but it's just not enough magic resistance, potentially. Good shackles to come out, but they have the X marks to come back on Winter G to stop him from doing so. Uh, he actually might survive. Uh, Winter G will not, it looks like. Poison yeah, he's going to find a hell of a tango. Oh, the shackles. All right. Nice. Worth it. Worth yep. it. Get that experience. Yeah. You, th you think you're going to come in for an Astral? I don't think so, dude. Lena is one of the most annoying heroes in the lineup. Oh, he got the raindrop, but he went for the blind torrent. Yeah. That was a nice use of the astral. Yeah, very good. Oh, Laguna Blade. He wants to kill so badly. Kimmy was like, I'm coming. I can do this. All right, I'll go on Adam instead. They have the, the Shackles ready, too. Uh, they do actually end up getting that kill on Tanushi. Yeah, uh, UID. Came in. Adam's going to be next. They have the uh, Eco Shock coming out, which helps him trouble. And he's about to be they have put lane. so much hate on him. And that's the thing about Viper is that usually what happens is he's level six or seven when the three heroes first come to gank him, they all die. But maybe, maybe now he can do something. Ah, uh, gross pace. They've got uh, the shackles. Yes, this and is the classic uh, Viper. <laughs> this is Viper. Yeah. Every fucking pro game of all time. Three heroes come and gank you. Oh, okay. Oh, right, well, they nice do one, Mushi. <laughs> Winter G is dead. Kimio, you need to leave, buddy. Uh, that torrent almost hit. That was so close. X marks later. Adam needs to leave now too. They actually do hit up the LSA. Mighty Saber is so tanky though, again with the Chrono Space, even at level 2. Bushi trying to get this kill. The Calling Blade comes out. Kimuel gets done. Ninja Boogie getting chased down now as well. It's Every level 2 poison Viper attack. Game. Yes! Yes! <laughs> the double kill from Kimuel. Uh oh, Bimpo, what are you doing up here? Spike Carapace will come out. Vendetta is ready. He also has the Impale. So he'll just throw it out. Uh, he might need to enrage here. Yeah, he will. Vendetta comes through. Calling Blade, triple kill for Kimuel. Baited. Debated. <laughs> I can't tell if he's poor somewhere. or if like it feels like the the net worth distribution is just kind of weird everywhere, right? Because we have this like core Nyx that oh, wasn't a core. This is not good. Still safe and safe. Oh, okay, baby, it is pretty good. All right, okay, Mushi was there. He was ready for it. They knew something was gonna happen. They're like, all right, they're gonna blink down bottom. They're looking for Winter G. Dragon Slave, Poison Attack, or Poison Touch, rather, and that's dead. Okay, so they turn it around. Do you know that there is some sort of team coming through? Depends on how much they value this Observer. Oh. Winter G, run! Run, buddy. He is mega dead. It is time to leave. Then dead out of the way for BYB, Mighty Savior. Dust comes out. Who will he go for? Viper, Blink Call. Uh-oh, when you might be too far off. There's the Impale coming out as well. Here comes the Ghost Ship. It's a little too late, though. They get the Calling Blade off. It's one point trade. Meanwhile, mid Laguna Blade, they get the kill. They hit the L. He is, by the way, picking up Mantis style. Not a common item for Vipers, but still pretty good. Uh-oh. Jesus. I thought that was Winter G. He died so quick. They have dropped so many sentries. My god. But pays off again. All right, what are you buying, James? Four staff, I would imagine. Are they gonna go for the serpent? Or yeah, the serpent. They're here? thinking about it. They're in on Kimwell. Yeah, ulted and dead. Oh man, I was watching the push top. Good thing you said something. Uh, no, the most uh, expert viper spectator, but this game does look very difficult. Kale, Mushi, they should still get this tower. Here comes the ghost ship. The torrents out. The pro strike. This should be a dead viper right now. They get off the grave in time. Mushi might still fall here. They jump in. Call will come. It's going to be on to three. There's the counter helix. Prox coming out. The double call from Kimuel. Finding himself a double kill. When will just burn strike away into the tree line. TPing out and should be successful. The courier chasing. Really early levels from like five to seven and stuff. So you can see they tried to put that pressure on the Viper and it worked at first. But again, that giant dive. And nice oh, bash man. mid. Yeah, that bash. Owned. Oh, it's mm. Mm. <laughs> it, uh, is currently back. All right, Aegis is gone. Winter G, what are you doing? And dead. 
They use the Guna, though, so that's down. Last evil can take the tower down. They also have Roche. They have the tower advantage. But again, the net worth is even. First strike on the Kimi Wolf. Flank looking for that bash. Call does get out in time, but uh, with overpower there, he gets bash in place anyway. And actually, yeah, he just keeps. Oh. Keep... No, don't die. Yeah, he's Mega done, dead. Though. Mega dead. Uh, not the best place to be without any vision. Yeah, it's tough. Towards heaven, drops on mid. Wen's looking to try to find a Baroche strike. Yeah, that's some hate. Yeah, they want to find this man. Wen, uh-oh, might be caught out here. If your shock point call will go, and Wen's going to get caught here. Oh, they're really holding, holding the vendetta. Out. Mushi and Pale actually just hits and gets the kill. BYB finds it. Two for nothing trade. They're just got mid. Like majorly outmaneuvered there. Yeah. Oh, well done. Blink and well, Pale on Mr. Uh, Potentially dead. Yep, Yuka Shot comes out. Ursa looking. Oh, again, first hit bash. Blink Call will come out, but he just popped the Enrage. Blade Mail is there. The Shaq will come through. This is not a good fight if you're expiration. Oh, nice they drop the Piper though. Strike. Yeah, and actually, when the Grossive Skin actually does work against him, he can't even get blinked in. And we'll still find Winter G. He is dead to a Torrent. So. Uh. Uh. uh no. <laughs> okay, oh. I was like, all right. The uh, enrage, obviously, very good skill, and he almost has his agonims. I believe BYB is dead. Yeah, that's a lot of control. Yes, yeah, that's the problem when you're in. Yeah, I don't think they saw that smoke. I think they. Uh oh, yeah, they definitely did. They're gonna jump right on Kimuel and get the first hit bash, get the call. Well, he will fall. The smoke is still running at the tier three tower. They're like, we want this viper underneath the tier three tower. He actually gets forced forward. That was pretty insane, and he is dead. Man, and now they're 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 right at the tier three already. Jump at Hurricane Pike. Adam's gonna take spits. He does have the ghost ship. No, it's on cooldown. Neck. Now no mana for it either. They still want this tier three tower. Mushi should get it. A more auto attacks, and now the shrines are up. Close and even this whole game. Oh, that glimmer cape was insane from Ninja Boogie. Well, meanwhile, they'll find the Viper again. The storm will come out. The Laguna Blade puts the axe to good use. <laughs> Mushi will find the kill. He might be enough to hold it, I think. Yeah, and the wards, too. All right, Adam. No pressure, dude. But you could just win this fight, I feel like, again. Oh, that oh Yule! God, that Yule Scepter was insane. The Ghost Ship can go up to BKB. They're trying to fight. Ags is up and ready for the Earth if he wants it. He has the Aegis skill as well. The Epicenter coming out. James taking some damage. Laguna Blade, it is not back up. It will be in two seconds. The Wen gets forced down oh. to the low ground. They take the Nailer Rex. They will leave with everything intact and secured. And Mineski get out beautifully. That Yule Scepter, though, on Kim Yuel for his initiation was perfect. Yeah, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell. He, he might be enough to just try and keep holding these buildings. Uh, if only they'd saved that melee Rex last time. But now back mid. Yeah, they are going to get Kim Yuel here. Storm comes out. The Shackles will secure Winter G's death as well. As the, uh, it's a little too late. It doesn't really matter. They just break them away. Full stacks up. They drop the sentry and the observer more. They know where the Nyx is. They can stay a bit further away on the left side. The Guna Blade will come out. They jump in the Ursa. They blow them away. But actually, they get off that Astral Steel, though. Great use to that Burrow Strike, as well as that Epicenter getting a huge kill onto James. Looking for more. The Dust is up. They're looking for Wen. He's already behind enemy lines. Everybody is so low on this dire team. The Shackles will come through. Wen will give his life, but they will get the melee racks out of it and perhaps more. Jump in and Pale will fly through. Misses completely as the Shadow Blade is. A wow, good old one. that's depressing. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, give you all. Oh, give your life for it. <laughs> it's just so, so depressing. All the time, but Let's see if we get another one in uh, in game three, because that's uh. Again, certainly what we're looking at here. They are going in. BKB, Abyssal, Viper Strike comes out. They want Kimuel. He gets the call off the time. Here comes the Ghost Ship. Laguna Blade will bring the axe down. They've got the Shrine going, but Bimbo is in, and he is in deep. Mid style will go. There's the Hurricane Pike. will do some damage. They have the Guardian Grief that come out, though. BYB looking for a jump in and Pale. Actually, is going to get caught. They pop the BKB for Mushi. Now they're going to jump onto Winter Sea. He will fall. Three dead. No buyback. Sanity comes out. Does little to no damage. Even if it does, Bimbo still has an Aegis. Then Ultra Kill comes out, and the fifth here will fall momentarily. Uh, that should be it, Trent. In game two, yeah, that we'll might be. That, that might be. <laughs> well. Solid draft. Uh, didn't really require too much of some of their supports. I felt like that was that was a lot of good core gameplay from Mineski. Supports were there. They they backed him up. I thought um, Adam played pretty 